Hey guys, this is John T. I'm back with another video. I just want to share this chess game that I played and it was a fun little game. Let's just reverse it a little bit so that I can show you what happened. Obviously, you know the result I won and I'm uh, kind of like flexing here. <laughs> but I don't really have a very high rating. I just have like around uh, 1200 to 1300-ish rating in different modes of chess. So anyway, Let's just start on playing as white and uh, the other guy obviously is going to be black so I go with the first move which is knight to c3 then we have e6 as a pawn f3 d5 d4 c5 e3 knight and then I this is the thing that I do here I just put up a knight here I'm trying to attack this guy and after that what I can do is I can actually bring this thing here as well and you know try to attack this so this is the main thing I can actually bring this here as well and try to attack so a couple of things here but uh, black does not really go for uh, that line of attack so I just developed the pieces a little bit more and now I don't really have any place to go so I'm gonna just put it back there anyway my pieces are still developed so now since this knight has nowhere else to go and basically I just bring it back so he's, he's more developed so what I can try to do is I can just put this thing here so that's what I'm trying to do right now and I castle obvious thing again so obviously this thing here can come here and try to attack her so I just develop this pawn here so that he can't really come here after that open this line for the rook for the later game so I'll see I'm trying to I'm focused on just pinning this here so what I try to do is I think about this thing as well like if he what I'm thinking is that maybe by mistake he'll just take it and I can then attack with the knight and take him out so he does not really take the bait here so I just develop this pawn here as well in this side now what he's trying to do is he's trying to bring the queen here and he's also trying to attack this. So I'm not really able to understand what he's trying to do but what I'm thinking is maybe I can try to attack him later on. So I bring the rook here and I'm going to take this thing out so that I can attack him or yeah. So anyway he brings his what do you call it bishop. <laughs> He brings the bishop here and I was not really looking at this at that time so I just bring out the bishop as well myself and there's uh, nothing else that we can do here at the moment so it brings up the knight and what I'm trying to do is <coughs> again the thing that I wanted to do was do this alright so he takes the uh, queen back obviously and I just bring my forward and then I forget about this pawn because it's just standing there and there's nothing we can do about it so I attack the knight he's coming up here he can't really do anything with the knight so I attack his bishop then I bring the king here so that if he ever forgets to you know cover this knight and brings the queen back here I can just take the knight so he takes the knight back and then I open up and I try to attack him with the bishop as well from here so then he takes a knight back again so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring this uh, rook here and then I'm gonna do this and then try to attack this place here so again his knight comes back with another attack and he's really annoying so I just bring up the king because I don't really have anything else to do here so again he's just pinning the knight there and he doesn't care Plus he's also covering this line because he knows I'm trying to attack like this and this. So he's just covering it up. So again, I just forget that idea and I'm uh, thinking about opening this line and trying to attack the king here. So that's what I'm trying to do. So he, now this is a good attack actually. He can actually take this and uh, he has a knight here as well. And he has a protection with the, with the rook here. So. I need another line of protection which I do I just uh, bring my rook here and try to protect this piece I don't really care about this piece here so he takes it and I just take his queen because it's kind of drastic right now can't really do much 
So this is one thing that I was thinking that maybe he's gonna, gonna forget about the knight and he does. And I'll just take him. So, <laughs> we got the knight. The king is a little bit in danger zone, but we, I think I can cover that, no problem. So he attacks the king. Now, a better attack would have been if he used the this thing here and then try to check the king. But in that way, I would have, you know, done something about it. But yeah, he could have taken my pawn here. Anyway, so I bring the king back. And now he thinks about that attack, but obviously I have a security now because the king is here. So, basically we do have an advantage here, and all I just need to do is just try to, you know, end the game with me having more pieces. So, this is the whole idea. Taking everything one by one. Fast forward a little bit. So this was a fun move where he t uh, forgets about this line of attack here and I just trap his rook here and do that. I take his rook. He's going to take my bishop. I don't care because I took his rook. And now basically I have a lot of control on the game. So basically I just need to control my time here progress the pawn a little bit. I'm a little bit, you know, careless here. I don't really care. I'm just progressing the pawn here. King moves here and this is a checkmate. So this was a fun game that I want to share with you guys. I hope you like it. And if you do like it, do try to hit the like button and subscribe and check out more of my chess videos. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.